Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Bus. My name is Ashley. I will be talking about how to utilize the counterculture DIY artist resin and review it along the way. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Let's get started. I'm going to be doing a review on Counterculture DIY Resin. I've been working with their artist resin all week now. They did send me a gallon to try out as well as some Quick Coat Urethane Sealer, Aquamarine Dispersion Color, and the White Armor Art Epoxy Pigment. I did do a video with the Aquamarine and the White, which that is right up here, and I show you how to mix them into the resin as well. So make sure you go there if you're not sure how to mix. I did love every single one of the products that they sent me, uh, but today I'm just gonna be talking about the resin. It is VOC free, VOC free, heat resistant, and UV resistant. And this is their, just to clarify, this is their artist resin, um, not the medium viscosity resin. When I'm reviewing a resin, I look at a few different things. I pay attention to the odor, how thick or thin it is, um, cure to the touch time, or at least when I can unmold time. <laughs> That's what I call it. And I pay attention to the bubbles. I'm going to talk about each of these things so you can make an informed decision for yourself on this particular product. I will, however, say that I totally recommend it and all the products that I have used from them, I loved every single one of them. So they have my high praise and I can't wait to buy some of the medium viscosity to try out as well because I've heard great things about that one. As I am telling you about this resin, I'll let you watch the video of me trying a new technique on coasters. Um, and I will show you at the end of the video the finished product so you can see how they turned out. First off, let's talk about the odor. It was extremely faint and smelled kind of like clay if I had to compare it to anything. The hardener did have a stronger odor, but it still wasn't a smack in the face. The resin part A is the thicker part. It was thinner than the stone coat resin that I normally use, and personally I would still recommend warming it up just like I do with the stone coat. It makes mixing so much easier and it does reduce the bubbles. Um, I usually spend approximately 30 minutes with my resin after mixing, so I haven't found a need to pay attention to the working time after warming. I did want to point that out, though, because but I did, did have someone um, ask me that on a previous video, and honestly, I'd say the working time made a big difference when I first got started with resin, and now I don't really spend that much time with the resin, I do a lot of different layers versus trying to make one layer last for 45 minutes. That doesn't really happen with me very often anymore. So I can't really attest to the working time past 30 minutes, but I was able to get it to work 30 minutes just fine with me after warming up the resin. Okay, now cure time. It On their website, it does say that it is cured to the touch in 24 hours. What I found was after only 16 hours, I was able to remove it from the mold without any difficulty whatsoever. Now, of course, I recommend following the maker's guidelines on that and don't go putting your fingerprint on there after 16 hours. I was extremely careful with how I removed it and I only touched the sides, but it just goes to show that it does cure very quickly. When I Lastly, let's talk about the bubbles. In this particular project, I did not heat up the resin, so I did have more bubbles than when I tried it out and I did heat it up. Um, so it is going to help you a lot if you heat up that thicker part. And I highly recommend it if you're a beginner especially because that's going to be the best way to get rid of the most bubbles. Now, outside of putting each coaster in a vacuum chamber, Every resin is going to have those micro bubbles. I ha I've had micro bubbles with every single resin that I've worked with, unless I put it in a vacuum chamber. I, I, I do think that it was a really good resin and it did release a lot of bubbles. It did, however, trap some bubbles underneath the triangles, which this happens anytime you try to cast something. And this is not a casting resin. So because of that, I just want to make sure that you understand this is not a casting resin. So you are going to have issues with bubbles if you are doing any type of casting like I am doing. I went ahead and still utilized it and wanted to see how it would react. 
I did not use any type of mold release and it released from the mold extremely easily. As for the bigger bubbles, when I did this particular project, I couldn't glue down my mosaics like I do on my animal mosaic pieces. Um, so air did get trapped underneath the triangles. So this when I flipped these over and demolded them, there were a few bubbles that were trapped underneath those triangles, but it was extremely easy to just go ahead and mix up another coat and do a top coat right in the middle of those coasters there. And this resin worked beautifully to fill those bubbles in. Brought the air to the top and I zapped them with a blowtorch. I didn't have any issues with the bubbles after this and you can't even tell that the bubbles were there except for the micro bubbles that I told you about. Now, because I wasn't able to glue the triangles down, they did move on me which is why I won't be selling these. I will keep trying to perfect this particular method um, in these coasters. And when I do, you guys will definitely be the first to know. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when I put out new videos. Next week, I'll be showing you how to use a vacuum pot, not a pressure pot. And let me know in the comments below if you have a resin that you would like to be reviewed that I haven't talked about on my channel. And don't forget to join the resin challenges group. It is in the description below and grab your supplies from my Amazon link so you can try and win the abstract boss award. Have a blessed week, everyone.